Now that we have ChatGPT to help us with all those menial tasks, does it make sense to learn Python in 2023? Well, I'm going to try to cover a few points that can help you decide that for yourself. Now, first of all, I want to mention that Python is still very relevant, especially with the booming field of AI. Python is one of the best languages to jump into that kind of field. And there's still data science and script automation that I highly recommend you use Python for. And while ChatGPT can do a lot and is advancing at an alarming pace, there's still a lot that ChatGPT cannot do. And this mostly has to do with creating specific functionality or when you want to create a more advanced project, ChatGPT is going to start to struggle because it has not seen that information before. And ChatGPT is built upon past information, which means it's very good at taking information from the internet or from its data set and putting it together. It's not good at creating new information. So if you learn Python and you become good at it, you're still going to outdo ChatGPT and companies still need that reliability. Now, one of the major reasons I believe you should still learn Python in 2023 is that it is one of the easiest languages to learn out there. Of course, it's hard to create AI. Maybe it's difficult to also analyze data accurately, but learning the Python language takes essentially no time. It's one of the most simplified languages out there. You can pick it up today and you can immediately create your first automated script in just a couple of hours. I have plenty of friends who have never touched a line of code, but they have to use Python in their daily lives at their workplace. And that's something I find super convenient because you can use Python for whatever you want. And personally, even in five years from now, even if ChatGPT would replace us, I would still recommend learning Python because you can do it in less than two weeks if you want. It's such an easy language to learn and it's super powerful. But along with that, I do want to mention that it's still very important before you just jump into ChatGPT that you actually learn how frameworks, how programming concepts work and how the language itself works. Because if you are new to the programming world and you jump straight into ChatGPT, you're going to notice or maybe you might not even notice that ChatGPT confidently gives you wrong information. It has given me snippets of code and said that it's highly optimized when it was actually doing the opposite. It can confidently say things and give you results that look accurate, but are just incorrect. And you would never know this if you didn't study Python or you didn't study any programming concepts. I cannot stress how important it is to actually learn Python and the programming concepts before going to ChatGPT. If you learn to program from ChatGPT, there's a high chance you might learn the wrong concept and you might just start using this wrong information without ever knowing the correct solution. Next, what about developers? Is ChatGPT going to replace developers? Chances are it might not replace them immediately, but it is going to increase the entry level for companies because now companies know that programmers have access to such a powerful tool that can help them program faster. Theoretically, everything should eventually get replaced. I mean, as a society, we've created AI that's learning at an alarmingly fast pace, which means there's no reason that programming jobs shouldn't be replaced in the near future. But as of now, we still need developers who know what they're doing to get the job done correctly. And I don't think developers are going to be replaced for quite a bit, but I do think that the entry level is going to become a bit more strict because now everyone has this tool, which is kind of like a cheat engine that allows you to create snippets of code in just a few seconds. So maybe in the past, they might have had this entry requirement that you create a small demo application to show them that you know how to program. And now they might make it a bit more advanced. They might say, okay, instead of creating a message app, we want you to create the full Facebook app using ChatGPT. I'm sure something like that will eventually happen where they require you to understand much, much more than you actually know, because now they know that you have a tool that can help you achieve that for a fraction of the cost. Now, this video wasn't aimed to scare you or anything. And to sum it up, I think you should learn Python if you want to learn Python in 2023. It's still one of the best languages out there and it's one of the easiest to learn. So I personally believe it's a very low risk language because you can put a month into it or you can even learn it in two weeks if you really want to and you'll be able to use it for a long time, whether that's for personal projects or for professional automation. What's important is that you learn it first before you jump into ChatGPT, because then you can use the concepts correctly. But anyways, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. So as always, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.